Welcome to an overview of the Steel Project's PLM software and its integration into Tackle Structures. In this example, we'll be taking a model from Tekla, passing it through the Steel Project softwares, down to the FISHEP CNC machine, then returning the timeline information, that's all the drilling, coping, shop lasting times, back into the Tekla Structures model so it can visually see progress. Firstly, in Tekla Structures, we'll create a new model. This is based on a template. The template contains a completed structure which we're going to download to Steel Projects. You can then let's see the completed model. The model has already been broken into phases, so what we'll do now is quickly take a look at the phases by colour coding the building. Pick up my phase. You can see then the different colours represent different phases. We now go back to normal colours. Then we'll set the, uh, the properties of the project so we have a name which will reflect in the Steel Projects PLM software. Go to Macros, Steel Projects CNC Export, and with one click we can then create one single XML which contains all the information to download to Steel Projects. This is all drilling, scribing, punching, all information. Process is complete. Complete. We are now ready for the next stage. Firstly, we'll log on to the system. Then we'll import the file we have just created. These files are automatically broken into phases, and they contain all CNC processes such as scribing, cutting, burning, drilling, all information. We now go to our projects manager. We can see the different projects in our steel projects PLM software. And there you can see the pieces complete with all the information, such as scribing. We're now ready to move to the next process. We will then pass the information onto the steel projects production management suite. In here, we have defined our workshop. We've told it what our processes are and what FISHEP CNC machines we have. The software then will then give us routing through the workshop and time calculations telling us how much time is required to process this contract. Our next step is to pass that on to the Steel Project's Profiles Nesting Suite. As you can see, we have all the parts, including the plates. You can then pick that up, run it through the bar nesting software. It will then give us bars based on stock or based on lists from the supplier and nest those pieces for us. As you can see here, all nested. Any parts that are left over need to go to the plate nesting software. We can then save those changes. It will then update our time calculations for the workshop. We then take a quick look at the material list. We get a complete bar nesting list for purchasing, including barcode and full cutting lists. It also gives us then lists telling us which machine, which parts need to go to which machine. For example, there's a coping machine, there's the Gemini. It also tells us which machine they've come from and which machine they need to go to next. Sew and drill. Complete list telling you how to route that project through your workshop. Next step is to pass that to the plate nesting software. Any parts left over from the bar nesting are then processed through the plate nesting software. As you can see the parts are then converted into a format that the plate nesting software can understand and calculate. This includes, of course, all scribing information. If we take a look then at these pieces, this grade and this thickness, those are the parts, we tell it what we have in stock, or again we can tell it what, what's available from supplier, or what we have as offcuts. So we type in the sheets, how many we have, run the plate nesting, the software will calculate, 
can give us optimization and time calculation on these sheets. Again, this, uh, this contains all the machining information for the Gemini. Drilling, stamping, scribing, burning, plasma, all information. We can, of course, manually move these parts if required. Save that information. We can then do a simple simulation of how the Gemini machine will run and produce this plate. It will also give us a time calculation on how long it will take the machine to do this. So we'll run that to plasma. If we zoom in, you can see the first process is the scribing of the parts. Again, this is a simulation. The next process will be the drilling or plasma burning if it's required. And of course, the, the final process will be the profile burning using either plasma or any other process. So you can see that plasma now being used on the slot holes rather than being drilled. Once this is completed, we can then create a report which will give us information on time required. And here you can see on screen the report. The plate nesting software. I'll pass through the FISHEP CNC machines. Machines for angles, beams and plates. As the parts go through each machine, it's different processes, cutting, burning, scribing. All this information is then fed back to the steel project software, then back to Tecla structures. As each piece passes through the FISHEP CNC machines, the information is fed back to the steel project production management software. In turn, this information is then fed back to the, to the Tecla structures model. So as each piece goes through, it automatically feeds the information such as cutting, drilling and stamping and uh, scribing back to the model. Also, we can have other processes such as welding, shipping and painting. So each process then is fed back and ultimately back through to the Tecla Structures model. As you can see here, if we just mark these up. This has been manually done at the moment. However, in a real life situation, this would be fully automatic. So again, you can see the processes that these pieces are going through. We can see that visually within, Tecla, uh, within the Steel Project software by colour, telling us the status and overall project status. And within each phase, we can see the status of where we are. At the same time, this is creating a link to the Tecla Structures model. In Tecla Structures, we've defined colours so that any information coming from the Steel Project software is reflected within Tecla. We then import the file that's been created by the Steel Project software into the Tecla model. Simply pick up the file. All the information from the FISHEP CNC machines is now fed directly through to the Tecla Structures model. We can then visually see the status of all the pieces in our model. As you can see on this date, nothing has happened. We step forward a date at a time, you can see on the 15th, that is the status of the project through our workshop. And if we double click and take a look at the attributes, the steel project's attributes, we can see then the status CNC, welding, painting and shipping status. This piece here has just gone through the FISHEP CNC machine. This piece here has gone through uh, CNC and welding. This piece here, has gone through CNC, weld and painting.
go back to standard Tecla, Steel Projects and Fishep, Cutting Edge Technology.